So people, we have a ginormous, and I'll say it again, ginormous Outriders update today. Which covers preloading and launch time, what's changed between demo and the launch of the game, patches and post-launch support, item restoration for players who lost their legendaries, uh, their policy on cheating and hacking, and house rangers info. Today we get into it all people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So about 45 minutes ago they dropped an update. Well basically what's going down between now and the launch of the game. Talking about many things, answering many questions people have and today we get into it all. So let's start with preloading and launch times. So this is what we have, I'm preloading, Xbox preloading will be live today, today being the 25th of March 2021. PlayStation platforms preloading will begin 48 hours in advance of release time. On Steam, we are still determining our preload options here and hope to share news about the possibility of it next week. Epic Game Store, preloading is not currently possible. Ok so moving on to launch times. So roll a midnight unlock for consoles, this means it will come out at midnight, the very start of April 1st on consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, which is amazing. They go on to state for the USA, this means midnight EDT April 1st, which is 9 o'clock PDT on April 31st. Unified single global time for PC and Stadia. The platforms will release on April 1st at 5pm BST, which is 9am PDT. That's a weird one to be honest guys. It seems to be launching midday on PC. They go on to state these platforms can only release at a single time globally. This is due to how their stores are set up. They're then going to showcase a countdown to help you understand how long to go in your specific region, which I will link within the video description if you do want to check it out, people. This time is the standard PC release time for Square Enix and has been carefully chosen to ensure that the maximum amount of support and partner staff are on hand to deal with any launch day issues. So that's pretty cool people, it really is midnight release on Xbox and PlayStation. I cannot wait to be streaming for midnight all night people. Okay so let's go on to what's changed between the demo and launch. Below is only a condensed overview. In truth the launch day build contains a multitude of additional general improvements, balancing bug fixes and crash resolutions. Highlights include lots of demo content bug fixes including for example mods on some legendary weapons not triggering properly. This is no doubt the Grim Marrow and the Migraine SMG. Balancing changes for various items, mods, enemy stats and loot drops. Balancing is an ongoing process and we have learned much from internal playtests, the insider's preview and the demo over the previous months. However, we're sure that we will continue to learn more from launch of the main game and the feedback provided by you, our community. So keep it coming. Crossplay will no longer be in beta and will be on by default. Pretty cool. PC players will be able to add cross platform players that they have previously played with to their friends list. That's cool. Consoles will receive this functionality through a future patch. Amazing. Please note that if you turn crossplay off manually, you will not be able to automatically matchmake with people who still have it turned on, even if you are on the same platform. Direct inviting should still work though. Direct X12 will be the default on PC. Added a quick mark functionality to your inventory. This will allow you to mass mark all items based on their rarity in one or two button presses, rather than needing to mark all items individually, which is still possible if preferred. Wow, you know what people, I had some guy in my chat, I can't remember who his name was, but shout out to who you were. He talked about this with me. I kind of like threw it off but then at the same time I was dismantling things in my inventory and I thought damn it takes too long. Maybe Square Enix, maybe people can fly while watching but yes I'm glad to see this is being added. Improvements to the cover system, pretty cool. Improvement to travel voting system used when in a group, good. Added information about internal cooldown mechanics for mods to their description, pretty cool. But wait, there are more, where they say find out about our patch intentions right here. So patches and post launch support. We currently have a few patches undergoing testing and submission. It is our full intention to release patches across all platforms simultaneously. 
but this may not always be possible. Below are our pre-planned patches, however, as with the demo, we will be carefully monitoring the launch and it's our full intention to on short notice hotfix any issues that we are able to reproduce and resolve on our side and that are deemed severe enough. Issues of a lesser severity that we are able to reproduce and resolve will likely be bundled into the bigger post launch follow up patch for the sake of efficiency. Day 1 Patch Okay, so this is a patch we're hoping to have ready and integrated into preloading even before launch. If everything goes to plan, you won't even have to download this on day one. But there is a possibility that this patch will release on April 1st, day one, and will therefore require an additional download. Many bug fixes and improvements with a particular focus on the latter sections of the game. Performance improvements on pacing stuttering that was observed during the demo. Camera smoothing improvements for cutscenes and dialogues. This should reduce the camera shake that some players are struggling with. Cutscenes, dialogues, frame rate improvements. PC cutscenes will have the option to choose from 30, 60, 90 and 120 frames per minute. Xbox Series X and S and PS5 cutscenes will be locked at 60 FPS and Xbox One and PS4 cutscenes will remain at 30 FPS. Okay, so post launch follow up patch and upcoming optimizations. We have an additional pre planned patch that is intended to address any recently reported issues or bugs coming out of the demo that the run to launch didn't allow us enough time to implement beforehand. The resolutions for any non urgent bugs that are discovered during launch may well be rolled into this patch. At this point in time, we do not yet have a set release time for this patch, as its release will depend on the amount of content we want to roll into it. We are expecting this to roll out at least a few weeks after launch. Newly discovered severe issues will be hotfixed earlier and separately from this patch, of course. Below are our intentions for this patch. Control adjustment options such as dead zone adjustment, acceleration settings and legacy layouts. Loading time improvements for Xbox One and PS4 consoles. Further performance improvements for co-op games. Cross-play friends list and invite system across all platforms. This will require you to be using a Square Enix member's account. Bug fixes including for example, lore, collectibles bugging out on second characters. And they say this list will continue to be built on as we progress through launch. So pretty cool people. They then talk about item restoration for players who lost their legendaries. And they state, as mentioned in our previous dev update, we intend to restore legendaries to players who lost them as a result of a specific bug. This restoration is taking place right now as part of today's maintenance, Thursday, March 25th. Restoration is a one-off event for the global player population. Restoration will take place on March 25th and will restore any legendaries lost before March 22nd. Only legendary weapons that were lost can be restored. Please check whether your last legendary weapons have been restored once the maintenance is ended. By the time this video is live, people, the maintenance should have ended. So if you have lost any legendaries in the past before the 22nd of March, check to see if they've been returned. So that's good to know. And I myself have lost a couple of migraines. I will log on in a quick second and see if they've been restored, which I'm hoping they have, because I lost the only two I ever had. They're then going to talk about their policy on cheating and hacking. Since demo launch, uh, this has been a hotly debated topic, so we wanted to provide some perspective on it as well as outline our policy regarding cheating and hacking going forward. For context, at the time when we reached around 2 million players, we identified 200 who had clearly cheated. In percentage terms, that's 0.01%. Uh, we can see you, yes, even the person who gave themselves 600 legendary weapons. We trust that this percentage will not grow by much as we move through and beyond the launch, but below are steps we will take to ensure legit players will not have their fun spoiled as a result of cheaters. And we can see on screen now what's going to happen to these people who cheat and who are considered cheaters. So if you want to pause the video and read through that, you can indeed people. And lastly, we have information on the House Rangers pre-order pack. So the House Rangers content will become available for your stash for anyone who owns it. This means that even if you progress through the story without it, you will not miss out on acquiring it in-game. Please note that this game is level up to level 10, so you will need to meet its requirements before you are able to use it, which is achieving level 10 or playing on certain level boosting world tiers. And that is it guys, quite a big and hefty update, not gonna lie. And I mean update as in what's going on with the game, not update as in an in-game patch. So yes, I hope any questions you had were answered right here. 
I'm just so hyped about the game being a midnight release on consoles as I play on the Xbox Series X. I cannot wait, people. And also with information I'm pre-loading to, that's pretty cool news. But yes, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on the next one.